Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be going through the free Warcry rules for the Grand Alliance of Order. First up, sorry about yesterday's video. I did say in the beginning of the video I'd be going through the news for the updated rules PDF that was going to be released, and then I didn't cover it in the video. I just got carried away with all the other stuff. But in this video, we're 100% going to be going through some of the rules that have been released today as a PDF. And now what Games Workshop are doing is they're releasing each Grand Alliance one per day. We'll also clear up just what's going on with this compendium because that was going to be released two weeks after the main box set, The Heart of Gur, but that seems to have changed now and it's going to be available later in the year. So we'll cover that at the end of the video, but let's first go over the article, pick out the main points, then we'll have a look at the PDFs. The article tells us that this week Games Workshop are giving away free rules for a vast range of fighters to use in Narwood and they're going to start with the Grand Alliance of Order and included in these free PDFs are going to be updated fighter cards, revised abilities and then a new reaction for each warband. Reactions are one of the new rules coming to Warcry, and here's one of the reactions for the Thunderstrike Stormcast. Now, it doesn't look like this, though, in the rules, and when we look at the PDFs later on, you'll see where the reactions are, because they've merged it in with the ability, so it'd be easy to overlook it, but we'll cover that later on. They give us a couple of examples in the article of changes, so you can see the Vindicta here has come down in points and also got an extra attack there, so 10 points less, but one extra attack. Whereas the Lord Imperitant has got a quite a big increase in points here, gone from 210 to 240. The main weapon stat has stayed the same, but added an extra weapon. Now there's a ranged weapon there, so that's pretty good too, getting that extra ranged weapon, and it's not too bad either. So there's going to be quite a few changes to go through here with all the Grand Alliance warbands who have got changes to all the different fighters and their own unique reactions added as well. In the article, there'll be four options. So you've got four different PDFs to download. So they're quite big, these, and they're laid out in the same way as the books we've seen for the different Grand Alliances. So they put them together really nicely. So you've got a PDF for Order 1, Order 2, Cities of Sigmar, and a fourth for the Stormcast Eternals. Now, while it won't affect the most recent Stormcast Eternals, if you've got some of the older warbands and the card packs that were available, they're going to be pretty much irrelevant now if they've made some big changes like we can see here. So if a lot of those have changed, those cards are going to be pretty much useless and we really are going to be using these PDFs now. So it'll be a case of either using them on our phone or iPad or printing them off and using them that way. So while it's really nice to get all these rules for free and it updates everything, um, you don't have to spend any money if you want to play with your existing warbands, that's great but you are going to be losing out on all those cards now. So that is a shame because the cards do make a big difference, but really is worth getting these printed off. And that's going to be made easier by having the PDF because trying to photo it from the book and then print off that way isn't that crisp. But now at least we can print it from the PDF and get them nice and crisp. And the names are on the cards too, which I think is a big bonus. Before we have a look at the PDFs, let's clear up what's going on with this Warcry compendium that we were told about. And they did say it was going to be released about two weeks after the main box set. But at the very end of the article today, it tells us that the rules are going to be made available in physical form later in the year in the Warcry compendium. And this is going to collate updated rules for all four Grand Alliances. So it certainly looks like something's happened here. There's been a delay with these books for some reason, which is odd because it's very close to the release date. Um, so, yeah, they've had to take action and release these PDFs this week. So on, a, on one hand, it's brilliant. Are you going to get them for free? Not going to cost you anything. Um, but on the other hand, it was a bit weird that we were expecting to get one book with everything in. Now we're going to have to wait and pick that up later in the year. And we're not going to get the campaigns that were going to be included in that or potentially included in it. So that's something to think about, too. This literally is just going to be the updated rules so we can use the war bands we already have. That's covered the information from the article. So now let's go and have a look at each of the four PDFs and we'll have a skim over and just have a look at exactly what's included in them. 
Okay, so here is the Sentinels of Order PDF. This is the first one that you'll download. And so it's going to give you a little introduction to the Sentinels of Order. And it's also going to give you the Order Faction room marks here in this chart. So you, you may recognize this from the Tome of Champions, that kind of layout. And it's also very similar to the layout that we've seen in the Grand Alliance books. So we've got a couple of pages introducing us there. And then we go on to the monsters. So we are getting updated rules for the monsters. Now I've got to go through each of these and compare it to what we already have. And so I'll be doing some extra videos. I think now all those uh, deep dive videos I've done for all the different warbands are going to be obsolete. So maybe a good time to redo the lot of them and go through every warband that's available to play. So there could potentially be a lot of Warcry videos. And if that's something you'd like to see, please let me know in the comment section below. Because um, I think it would be good to go through it and do a refresh. But here we go. So we've got the monsters. We've got the Carabdis here. We've still got the monster abilities, the damage table. And as we go back up here... Yeah, it's, it hasn't got the rules though, so we are still going to be using the rules we had before and maybe in the core book there'll be some changes there. So we've got our monsters and then we get in to what we're very familiar with where we see the abilities for our regular fighters and then for our leaders. Now, the way they've done this though is they've got the fighter abilities on the left hand side here and then they've got what's called hero abilities. So this used to be leader abilities, now they've renamed that hero abilities and you can see that included in these is going to be the reaction so we've got our usual ability with double triple quad but up here on the top left you can see that there's a reaction now in those um, brackets so this is reaction gladiatorial display so each warband is going to get its own reaction and we're going to find it within the abilities so that's interesting i thought it was going to be different to that um, but it's included in this so nice and easy and as we flick through looking at all the different pages we're going to get our fighter cards and they're all done in this new style we've got the name but the layout's the same they've just changed the design of it to match this new location so again, I'm going to have to go through and see exactly what's changed and updated. And I think rather than doing comparisons, it, it might be good to just do um, a complete deep dive for each warband as if it's a completely new thing. So rather than saying this is what it used to be, this is what it is now, just start from scratch, I think, and go through it. So in this one, we're going to get all our different warbands and we're going to just keep scrolling through here. So you can see you've got the fire slayers there. And then again, they got their own reaction called Gathered Heroes, and that's included. And look at this, they got another reaction there in the hero abilities. So the fighter abilities have got one. So every member of the warband with the Fire Slayer's room mark can use that reaction. And then here, if they've got the leader room mark, the Screaming Skull, and the Fire Slayer room mark, they can use the Master Flame Rune reaction too. So that's good that some warbands are going to get one reaction and some are going to get two. And then we've got all the different fighters again. So very familiar with this layout now, just letting it load up. Ideneth Deepkin, looking to see if they've still, they've still got the low tide here though, and high tide. So that hasn't changed, but I wonder if there's any wording in there that has. But yeah, it'd be interesting to go over this again. Looking forward to working through it, picking out my favourite warbands and seeing what's changed. There's probably not going to be a huge amount. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not going to be massive, but from what we saw from the ones for the Stormcast Eternals, though, they were quite big changes with 30 points, but I wonder if they're doing that across the board. But anyway, here we go. So we're on to the 14th page here, and so that's everything that's included in Sentinels of Order PDF 1. Now, there's 14 pages here, but if you look down the right-hand side of the page, this is on page 30, so this is obviously taken from that compendium and there's a lot more information in the beginning of it so whether they're including rules campaign play things like that maybe that's in the beginning but yeah there's definitely a big chunk missing here so that's the first pdf now let's move on to the second one now we're on to the second pdf and you can see this is page 31 of what will be the compendium we're on to the caradon overlords and so we're going to work our way through their fighter cards Keep clicking through. I'll go through quite quick now, going through some of the other warbands once it starts loading. Lumineth, Realm Lords. Oh, this is pretty slow. Lumineth, Realm Lords, Bright Company. 
There we go. So this is good because it's going to have all the newer models included as well. So this is nice all in one place. That's a real bonus. Seraphon. Here we go. Seraphon scale cohorts. So now this is going to be 15 pages all together here. And let's go through it. This is really slow opening up. And what's this one? Yeah, so lots of Seraphon. And then we're going to finally get in this one the Sylvaneth. So the Sylvaneth are included in here too. So that's going to be another 14, 15 pages. But again, now we're up to page 62. So there's lots missing from this because we've only looked at 15 pages here. So we've gone from page 30 to page 63, but only 15 pages. So there's definitely things left out. So... Yeah, what's going on here? Well, wonder what they would do in the middle of the war bands like this, because usually it would all be just in order, flowing one after the other. So they're obviously slotting something in there. But OK, so that's Sentinels of Order number two. Um, ah, Maybe what they've done is they've put the Stormcast Eternals onto another PDF. So let's check that one out. And that might be where those numbers are missing between 30 and 62. And there we go. You can see at the bottom left hand page 43. So, yeah, that's what's happened. These were just taken out of order because it's such a big chunk. These are going to be big files to upload and then download. So I guess they've took the thunder, the Stormcast Eternals out because they've got so many cards. There's so many options for the Stormcast Eternals. Again, it's really such a shame to not be able to use those card packs anymore because they're so good. They make, make gameplay really good. But um, yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine just to print these off and go with it. So it's no problem. But here we go. So we're going to get, again, everything, all the new models, the Thunderstrike Stormcasts, all updated. And then as you can see here, you're going to get the reaction. Well, oh, that's got a funny colour. Oh, it's better. We've got a reaction Thunderous Departure there for the uh, Stormcast Eternal Sacrosant Chamber. Let's just go back to the Thunderstrike. They've got Thunderous Departure too. And as we work our way through the document, we're going to go through all the different chambers all the different models. Yeah, there's a lot to go through here. A lot of fighters to check and, and yeah, have a look at the changes. You can see for the auxiliary chamber, also Thunderous Departure. So that reaction looks like it's the same for all the Stormcast Eternals. There we go. Auxiliary chamber again. Yeah. And then who else have we got here? The warrior chamber. They've got the same reaction too. I wonder if they put any new abilities in. That'd be interesting as well to find out because there's quite a few here for the hero abilities. One, two, three, four, five, seven. So that might be, there might be some new ones there. And then we've got a few more pages to look at. The warriors again. So then we've got all the warrior fighter cards. So many cards for Stormcast Eternals. I like the layout. It looks really nice. There we go. So that makes sense, I guess, with the pages now. So we, we're up to page 62 with the uh, Silver Neth, I think, included. So there we go. So that's that one. We've still got one more to look at, though, and that's the Cities of Sigma. So let's jump on that next. OK, now we're on to the Cities of Sigma. I did a video about this long time ago for Warcry and I went through how to design your warband for Cities of Sigmar and for me this is the most fun way of putting together a warband. I love the way it was laid out and it would just be amazing if they brought out some extra models that we could use in Cities of Sigmar because it's a fantastic way of putting them together. You choose your city which comes with the different abilities relating to it and you can really mix up models from so many different factions. Great fun and lots of options which I really love. But the plot thickens here because now we're on page five so I guess these are where the pages were missing from the first pdf so i don't know how are we gonna are we gonna get campaigns in the compendium book i wonder and maybe we won't maybe we won't because that's going to be what over 60 pages just to get to the fighter cards and the abilities and the monsters then there's going to have to be extra plus you've got the four grand alliances i mean if this is a 300 page book you usually get maybe 30 40 pages for death and destruction because there's not as many warbands and fighter cards available for those so yeah but then also i haven't seen any fighter cards here for all the underworld's warbands either so are they going to be included as a like fifth option uh, because it doesn't look like they're putting them in with each of the grand alliances so we could well see 
the updated points for them as a separate PDF, maybe at the end of the week. Maybe they're not updating it at all and you won't be able to use them. That would be... That'd be terrible if they did that. So, yeah, hopefully it's just going to be a separate PDF that we'll get later on. But let's keep going through this one. So Cities of Sigma, it looks the same way to design it and set it all up. You choose your city, which is going to come with the different abilities. Uh, reactions are different, though. So I've just gone back to Living City that's got Dazzling Faint as a reaction, whereas Greywater Fastness has got the Return Fire as a reaction so that's good i'm glad it's not just the same reaction for every city so that's good indomitable spirit for the phoenicium fighter abilities cutthroat what am i saying cutthroat strike for the anvil guard and then stern staff brilliant so yeah each one looks to have a new one and then for tempest eye oracular insight so man there's so much to read through this is going to be great great fun to like learn all these reactions and see what we can do but um yeah the layout and order looks very much the same how they've put the fighter cards there just the points values and things that are going to change so it might not be as drastic as it first looked from those ones they showed us in the article but it's going to take me hours to look through these so I'll, I'll certainly do some more videos and then like i said work through each of the deep dives for all the different war bands if that's something you'd like to see and then we're getting right up now to the 14th page here. So no more prints. There we go. So that's the end of the fourth PDF, Cities of Sigma. So that's the four PDFs for the Grand Alliance of Order. And tomorrow, I guess maybe Chaos. That would be good to see the Chaos one because that's going to be another big one. So expect to see uh, potentially four or five PDFs tomorrow for maybe Chaos. There we go. So lots to read through, lots of information and really great to get our hands on this so early. Even before the game comes out with the new rules, we've got all these to prepare ourselves and get our warbands ready to do battle in the heart of Gur. It's really weird that the compendium was advertised, though, and then all of a sudden now it's not going to be two weeks after. It's going to be like later on in the year. So something must have gone wrong. Um, but yeah. It doesn't really matter. We're going to get everything we need for all the Grand Alliances anyway. And it's not going to cost us anything. So that's pretty good. Um, but again, a shame we can't use those old cards now. Unless things haven't changed as much as I think they might have done. But anyway, let me know what you think about this. I'd love to know your thoughts. Um, do you like what you're seeing here? Is it great we're going to get each day a new Grand Alliance? That's pretty exciting. I can't wait to read your comments. And I'm also looking forward to having a real good read through all of this and coming up with some new videos to go through each of the warbands and do a deep dive so we can really drill in to these new fire cards, abilities and the reactions for each warband. But I hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe for more videos like this, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible. And if you're interested in joining the community, it'd be awesome to see you there. And I'll put a link for that in the description down below. <laughs>